हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल केमिस्ट्री अनप्लग्ड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट पेरीसाइक्लिक रिएक्शन फर्स्ट आई विल टेल यू अबाउट इलेक्ट्रोसाइक्लिक रिएक्शंस पेरीसाइक्लिक बीज अराउंड द सर्कल बीज साइक्लिक शिफ्टिंग ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन पेरीसाइक्लिक रिएक्शंस देयर इज साइक्लिक शिफ्टिंग ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स पेरीसाइक्लिक रिएक्शंस आर कंसर्टेड इन नेचर कंसर्टेड बीज reactants are converted into products in a single step without converting it into intermediates the energy of activation for these reactions is either provided by heat or uv light then pericyclic reactions are of four types electrocyclic cycloaddition sigma tropic shift and group transfer reactions different theories have been proposed to explain pericyclic reactions but before going in their detail we should have basic knowledge of molecular orbitals according to molecular orbital theory number of molecular orbitals are equal to number of atomic orbitals for example in case of ethylene we have pi bond one pi bond which is generated by parallel combination of 2p orbitals means 2p atomic orbitals involves or combine to form two molecular orbital when they combine constructively they will form pi bonding orbital denoted by psi1 and when they will when they combine by destructive overlapping means positive and negative wave functions are together there is pi antibonding orbital and it is denoted by pi 2 star next example is 13 butadiene in 13 butadiene we have two pi bonds means four p orbitals overlap to form four pi orbitals four atomic orbital combine linearly to form four molecular orbital we can also consider it as that these four molecular orbitals are formed by linear combination of two molecular orbital of ethyl and linear combination takes place in such a way that energy difference between two combining orbital is minimum when pi two pi bonding orbitals of ethylene combine they will form psi1 and psi2 molecular orbital of 13 butadiene in first orbital means psi1 it is lowest in energy because it has three because it has three bonding interaction between two ethylene bonding molecular orbital second molecular orbital is psi2 it is slightly high in energy because it has two bonding interaction and one anti bonding interaction bonding interaction between this positive and positive low and negative and anti bonding interaction between positive and negative low and again bonding between negative and negative low because it has one anti bonding interaction therefore it is slightly higher in energy level and it has one node also node is calculated by psi n is equals to n minus 1 where n is number of molecular orbital for psi 1 we have zero node for psi 2 we have one node third molecular orbital is formed by interaction of combination of two anti bonding orbitals of ethylene it has two anti bonding interaction and one, one bonding interaction therefore it is it has slightly higher energy than psi 2 it has two nodes and the psi 4 is highest in energy level because it is formed by only anti bonding interaction between the p orbitals now we will discuss about the symmetry of pi molecular orbitals pi molecular orbitals have two type of symmetry mirror symmetry and c2 symmetry mirror symmetry when the two molecular orbitals are mirror images of each other for example in this case these two molecular orbitals are mirror images of each other so this type of symmetry is mirror symmetry 
C2 symmetry or center of symmetry is the symmetry when we draw a line from this point. This point on the molecular axis, this line connects two lobes having same faces. For example, this lobe has positive face and, and this lobe also has positive face. So, this line connecting two lobes of same phases. Similarly, this line also connects the two lobes of same phases, negative phases. So, this type of symmetry is called as C2 symmetry. So, now we will discuss about the symmetries present in four molecular orbitals of 1,3-butadiene. For example, in first molecular orbital, that is psi1, which is lowest in energy, we have mirror symmetry. All the lobes are of mirror images of each other. So, it is mirror symmetric. And C2, asymmetric. The point on the molecular axis cannot connect, a line cannot connect two phases, two lobes of same phases. Next is Psi2. Psi2 has C2 symmetry. It doesn't have mirror symmetry. And then Psi3, which has mirror symmetry and C2 asymmetric. Then Psi4, it is again mirror asymmetric and C2 symmetric. So, we have a general formula when n is odd means n is number of molecular orbital. When n is odd, psi, psi n will be mirror symmetric and C2 asymmetric. And when n is even, then psi n will be mirror asymmetric and C2 symmetric. So, using this, we can identify which will be mirror symmetric or which will be C2 symmetric. Then, molecular orbitals of conjugated ions and radicals. For example, allyl, anion, cation or radical. Allyl, anion, cation or radical have odd number of carbon atoms. And such type of molecular orbitals always have non-bonding, one non-bonding molecular orbital, which is central in location in energy level diagram. And if M is the number of P orbitals, then number of bonding molecular orbital will be M minus 1 by 2 and number of anti-bonding molecular orbital will be M minus 1 by 2. So, for allyl anion, we have three P orbitals. So, it will have one non-bonding orbital. Okay. And the bonding orbital will be 3 minus 1 by 2. That is 1. And number of anti-bonding orbital will be 1. So, it will have one bonding orbital, one non-bonding and one anti-bonding orbital. So, now we have a basic knowledge about the symmetries and molecular orbital. Let's move to the pericyclic reaction. First is electrocyclic reaction. Electrocyclic reactions are conversion of conjugated polyes into cycloalkenes or cycloalkenes into conjugated polyenes. These reactions are induced by heat or, or UV light. Okay. Then these reactions are reversible in nature. For example, conversion of 1,3,5 hexatriene into cyclohexene. Conversion of allyl ketyl into cyclopropyl ketyl. Then ring opening of cyclohexene into 1,3,5 hexatriene. So these are the examples of electrocyclic reactions. Then electrocyclic reactions are of two types. Ring opening and ring closing. And they involve two modes of rotation or processing, con rotatory moment and dis rotatory. Con rotatory means when the two lobes of molecular orbital will rotate in same direction, either clockwise or anti-clockwise. Okay, and when they rotate in opposite direction, one rotated clockwise and other rotated anti-clockwise or one rotated anti-clockwise, other will rotate in Clockwise direction, this type of rotation is known as disrotatory. For example, in case of cyclobutene, the con rotatory movement of lobes will lead to the C2 symmetry. 
these two lobes are c2 symmetric in nature at the disrotary movement will convert it into m symmetric these two lobes are mirror symmetric to each other so the electrocyclic reactions are highly stereo specific in nature if a open chain conjugated system has four n pi electrons then the movement will be con rotatory when the reaction is thermally induced and for photochemically induced reaction the movement will be disrotatory for example in case of cyclobutene the open chain conjugated system has four pi electrons so when the reaction is thermally induced these the single bond this this sigma bond will break by con rotatory movement okay and when the reaction is photochemically induced then this sigma bond will break by this rotatory movement and when the open chain conjugated system has 4n plus 2 pi electrons then thermally induced reactions will be the motion in thermally induced reactions will be disrotatory and in photochemically induced reactions it will be con rotatory for example in case of cyclohexadiene the open chain conjugated system has 3 pi bonds be 6 pi electrons it is a 4n plus 2 pi electron system so when the reaction is thermally induced the movement will be the sigma bond will be break by this rotatory movement to explain the rotation processes in pericyclic reactions in electrocyclic reaction especially the method is first method is frontier molecular orbital fmo method and according to this method the allowedness of a electrocyclic reaction can be determined by the symmetry of highest occupied molecular orbital for unimolecular reactions so you have to re remember two things first for thermally induced reactions homo is ground state homo and for photochemically induced reactions homo is first excited state so if the symmetry of homo is mirror symmetry then the rotation process will be disrotatory okay because only in this condition two lobes of same faces can come close to each other can combine to each other to form a bond so if you can find out the symmetry of the orbital you can uh, identify the rotation by itself and when the symmetry of homo is c2 then only con rotatory process can lead to the formation of bond so the rotation process will be con rotatory so for example in case of 13 butadiene the reaction is either thermally induced or photochemically induced when the reaction is thermally induced then shy 2 will be the homo it has four molecular orbital shy 1 shy 2 shy 3 shy 4 as we have seen in earlier slides so shy 2 will be the homo bees and shy 2 has c2 symmetry we know that shy 2 has c2 symmetry so only con rotatory movement can lead to the formation of bond and for photochemically induced cyclization shy 3 will be homo we know that for photochemically induced reactions the homo will be first excited state molecular orbital so first excited state molecular orbital is shy 3 so shy 3 will be homo and shy 3 has mirror symmetry so only this rotatory movement can lead to the formation of bond so for photochemically induced reaction the movement will be this rotatory for example give the product of following reaction one reaction is thermally induced and second reaction is photochemically induced so this reaction is catalyzed by acid so first we have to identify that this system has how many pi electron it has four pi electron system so for thermally induced reaction shy 2 will be homo shy 2 bees it has c2 symmetry c2 symmetry bees 
the bobet will be cord rotatory when the bobet is cord rotatory the product will be this and when the reaction is photochemically induced then homo will be shy 3 shy 3 has mirror symmetry so only this rotatory movement can lead to the formation of bond so the product will be this next question is which electrocyclic reaction will be allowed okay we have this reaction both reactions are thermally induced one product is a and second product is b so first we have to identify that how many pi electrons are present in this reacted we have six pi electron system six pi electron system means homo will be shy 3 shy 3 has mirror symmetry okay mirror symmetry means only this rotatory movement can lead to the formation of sigma bond so the product will be this means the right rate the a reaction will be allowed next question is give the product of following reaction we have this reaction it is thermally induced first thing we have to do that we consider this group as a and this group as b so it will be easier for us to determine the product of reaction so next is this system has eight pi electrons eight pi electrons means homo will be shy 4 for thermally induced reactions shy 4 means it has c2 symmetry C to symmetry means only cord rotatory movement can lead to the product. So the first is sub the first product is this. Next thing is that the this this ring also has three pi bonds means six pi electrons. So for the six pi electrons, the homo will be shy three. Shy three has mirror symmetry. so the mirror symmetry means only this rotatory movement can lead to the formation of bond so these two planar hydrogen atoms can move to out of the plane or may go below the plane so there are two types of products we have also we have already discussed that electrocyclic reactions are stereo specific so they can generate two enantiomers So that's it I will end my today's video here in next video I will discuss more about electrocyclic reactions problems from competitive exams so thank you so much for watching my video please subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed it and press bell icon for future notifications